and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got the Combine Promo Part 3. Now, I'm super excited, guys. Now, obviously, the, prom the Combine Promo to this part has been a little underwhelming for the most part, guys. It could have been better. We've been waiting for a CJ2K and a Patrick Peterson. Hopefully, today is that day. Hopefully, we get something. And if we don't get something, there better be something else coming because this will not be the first Combine Promo since Madden 13 that I participated in. It does not have Vernon Davis, Patrick Peterson, or Chris Johnson, at least one of them. I understand CJ2K isn't the record holder anymore, but... CJ2K is the combine promo. That's all I gotta say. There's been no RG3. There's been no Marcus Mariota. There's been no McCaffrey. We got not one big name. I don't know if what are they saving these cards for at this point. This is end game Madden. Like, give us the cards we want. Give us the cards we need. Hopefully, we get some more stuff in today's combine three reveal. I'm gonna go watch the stream in just a second to get some of the screenshots for you guys. Cause some of the lower cards are hard to find in the blocks. So I have to show you guys screenshots of those. And then I'll show you guys the top pieces in game, of course. And we got an LTD coming today too, as well. I saw a leak for it, but I'm kind of hoping it's not what I saw. Hopefully, it's something better than that. Hopefully, that's just a set piece. And I'm holding out for one more master set, guys. Like, come on. Why would we only get one master? Last year, we had like 26 97 overalls. We had a 99 Chris, uh, Chris Johnson. We had a butt. We had a McCaffrey. We had an Odell. We had, it was a fun ass promo. And this year, it sucked. So, this is the first promo this year. I could truthfully say, like, compared to every other year, this one sucked. Hoping they pick it up, guys. Just hope, I'm, I'm just holding out hope, guys. But it's better for the video. Or that is better for the intro, I should, shit, I should say. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Come show support. It is Madden Limbo. It's gonna be that way probably for the rest of the year. But come show support. We're gonna, we're waiting. We're grinding out to Madden 21 regardless. So come out every day. I'll try to start posting more entertaining videos like gameplays and maybe some series for you guys. Let's keep you guys entertained in the off season. But until then, guys, keep showing support. Give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys need anything. And enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Hopefully, hopefully we get some when I watch the stream. I'm praying, I'm praying, I hope we do, because honestly, I cannot deal with a really bad day three going into no more promo content. Well, let's get into it. Before we get into the rest of the video, they did announce, guys, that players that we were tagging them in on Twitter, on Twitch and everything, are slated for a different program. So they're implying maybe RG3, Christian McCaffrey. They're implying, I think CJ2K is the main one. Chris Johnson and Patrick Peterson are probably slated for different programs. Now, could that be the free agency program for Patrick Peterson? I'm not entirely sure. CJ2K must be an Ultimate Legend, I guess, because I guess he's, he's out of the league now. I guess he's going to get an Ultimate Legend card, which I guess is pretty cool, but at the, at the same time, we were kind of hoping for a Combine card. He is the Combine promo, but at least they did announce that there will be a CJ2K coming, as well as, guys, there is an LTD slated for Friday. So this Friday, there will be one last Combine LTD before the promo goes out underway, but... About it, as far as the news goes, but another LTD, CJ2K will be coming just in a different promo. Now, let's go to the players. So, we got Michael Burton, 85 fullback, kind of slow, decent blocking, not that great. Shaquem Griffin, 85 overall around linebacker, great speed, 90 speed, 90 excel. Guys, if he has a good zone coverage, no joke, I will put him in over Von Miller. Six feet tall, better speed, better excel. If he has a good zone, I will put him in. Isaiah McKenzie, really fast. Yeah, he was on the Buffalo Bills, super fast, can't catch, can't route run. Troy Apke was super, super fast at the combine. 94 speed, 95 excel, 82 zone. Probably a decent budget beast. Curtis Samuel, going to be super fast. Yeah, 94 speed, 87 excel, 80 cross, 80 passing, or 80 catching, and route running across the board. Not bad. Hassan Reddick, middle linebacker, 88 speed, 83 excel. Budget beast right there with 85 hit power as well. 86 tackle. I always remember him being a nice budget beast linebacker. Donatari Poe. Or Dantari Poe, I should say. 6 foot 3, 73 speed. Decent speed for Poe, honestly. 87 Excel. Bad pass rushing. Bad. Yeah, bad everything. That card sucks. And then Dustin Hopkins. Dustin Hopkins. 91 overall kicker. 82 Excel, which is actually kind of fast. 92 kick power and 85 kick accuracy. I guess a decent budget kicker. Not my not my speed, though. Then we got 93 Thomas Morstead, which should be a pretty decent punter, I guess. 93 kick power. I mean, 92 kick power, 92 kick accuracy, as well as no throwing. Decent awareness and decent speed, quite honestly. For a putter, Thomas Mortz has always been one of the better punters in Madden. He came back in the league in 2009. Well, that's a while ago. I've been, I've, been, I've had this punter on my team since, like, Madden 13. Obviously, I don't use it every year, but he's been around in Madden, since Madden 13 when I first seen him in Ultimate Team, when I believe he got one of those positional hero cards, which was super cool. But that pretty much wraps up the lower card, guys. We have the LTD, and we obviously have today's 96 overall drop, which... At most, might be a little underwhelming, but it is what it is, guys. We should have another LTD to look forward to. I really don't know what it could be. Maybe an RG3 
limited time RG3 quarterback would be super, super cool, guys. We can only hope and pray for that one, though. We don't know if that's not, that's not a given, guys. We must earn that. Next, for the LTD, we got Vita Vey for today. 97 overall defensive tackle. Yes, EA loves Vita Vey. They've given us LTD Vita Vey's. They've given us another LTD Vita Vey. They've given us a halfback Vita Vey. A base fleet Vita Vey. A team of the week Vita Vey. They love Vita Vey. And I don't know why. But at least he's taking Geno Atkins throne of being the top defensive tackle every time. Now, let's see his stats. 6'4", 71 speed, 83 acceleration. That's actually not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. 93 strength. 92 tackle. 99 strength. Sorry, did I say 93? 99 strength. 90 play rec. 94 block shed. 88 power move, 65 finesse move. So, his pass rushing is ass for 97 over LTD. His block shedding is decent. His strength is amazing. His speed is decent. His tackle is decent. His, okay, at this point, guys, at this point in the game, at this point in Madden for 97 over LTD, he's ass. Realistically, right? Warren Sapp has the same athleticism, but Savita Bay can't pass rush, can decently, decently run stop, and he's super strong, which I'm still not entirely sure what strength entirely does when you can't pass rush or block shot enough. It like, makes up for it. Still don't know the exact specifications of that. So, in that case, Vita Bay is not looking too hot, in my opinion. Not my kind of card that I'd go for. I don't think this is it in the slightest bit. I think that we could have got, for, for like, for a combine promo, don't give us a defensive attack. Combine promo is fast wide receiver, fast cornerback, fast middle linebacker, fast quarterback, and fast running back. It is not the, uh, the, they gave us the only position where combine athleticism wouldn't really show, but he has a good bench press, which gives him a high strength, which we still don't exactly know how much that shows up in game. Thanks, EA. Now, send over to the last card that was dropped, which is the Alvin Kamara, which you guys should have seen already, which I don't like this, right? I hated the way they did this. They just said on stream, like, Kralo was like, all right, guys, so we do have the final piece to complete the Deion Sanders set, and you can finally get Alvin Kamara. No, Kralo. I did an Alvin Kamara gameplay like four or five days ago. He was well accessible to the common community. It, like, I didn't, it didn't really make sense how they did it, but it is what it is at this point. I mean, I'm going to go over stats still. He's 5'10", 92 speed, 97 excel, 96 agility, 94 carrying, 86 catching, 90 elusiveness, 88 trucking, 93 break tackle. Don't get me wrong. I played with Kamara. He played amazing. I love him, but it's also biased. I, I genuinely love Alvin Kamara in real life. But as far as the stats go, guys, this is not it. 92 speed for a combine running back. He should have at least 94 speed. 94 speed would have been one of the best running backs in Madden. 92 speed makes him a subpar running back. He's decent. I had fun with him. That's about it, guys, for the video. Let's head on over back to the Madden screens. Close everything out because this is kind of it for the video. I mean, there's not much more to go over. This was exactly what was dropped. Kind of upsetting, but we're still holding hopes for that LTD. Guys, so that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Honestly, lackluster to say the least. I mean, as a, as an overall, right? So today was okay, but like I was hoping for more. I'm really I was really hoping that we get like another master set or two master sets at this promo. Like what I was expecting was a free player this promo, two or three master sets, some fun solo challenges. We got lackluster solo challenges. We got lackluster rewards. We didn't get a free player. Like, per se, right? DK, whatever. We didn't get a free player that everyone could use. Because that's a free player. Well, that every single person in the game could use no matter what. It's overwhelming. Like, DK, even for lower teams, like, oh, that's okay. Most people wanted an overall card. We didn't even get, like, an insane name. Like, a McCaffrey, like I said. Mariota. An RG3. A guy that we can... We love RG3. He's always He was always fun in Madden. He only got to play for, like, a year or two before he was hurt. Well, he got hurt year one. But the thing is that by year two, they still made cards on him. But by after that, we didn't get any more cards on him because he was out of his prime already at that point. No, I shouldn't say prime. He was, he was already done. But the point I'm trying to make, guys, is that we don't get to enjoy some of those cards. So that's what this is for. People who did good at the combine, who might have washed out in the NFL, but they had a chance here. I don't know. I'm just hoping that... I'm hoping that we're wrong. And like tomorrow, they come out and say there's a CJ2K LTD that they're surprising us with. I'm praying that there will be, because honestly, it kind of suck if there was. And then we got to wait for another promo, guys. It is what it is at this point, I guess, but... That's, that's all for the day, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below if you guys need any help at all. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell, boys. We're almost at 21K. I don't think we're going to grow much more for the rest of the year because that's just kind of the state of Madden. So let's aim for 22K by the end of Madden and then hope that, you know, Madden 21 could be our year. Go to EA Play. Get everything we got to get ready for that. And hopefully things go well, guys. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to check out today's other video. I'm only doing two because I have come to terms with doing three. Is just force feeding right now with lack of content. But as we get more stuff, like a series update or something, I will update that. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out the other video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys are still coming out at this time. I'm out. Peace.